Alright guys, welcome back. It's Mark, table tennis uh, enthusiast, coach, player, whatever you want to call me from Little Town of Canesham. Tonight we're going to do something very special. We're going to actually put up a new table. Um, so we've got uh, saved enough profits from the club to buy a um, Darius Knight Force table, our third one, a match quality table. This is what it looks like. And there is the beauty. We just need a couple of spanners. I'm one. And uh, yeah, another one. No, and also it's just two spanners, put it all together. And away we go. And uh, they very kindly gave us some uh, training balls there as well. So thank you, Darius, and the team. Uh, Dave and Johnny, the driver, have been an absolute star so far. Pleasure to do business with. And yeah, let's construct this table a little bit later and uh, get it up in Kensham Table Tennis Club. It's a Thursday night, best night of the week. So let's get some footage from tonight. I'm going to be playing Jonathan uh, tonight. And so we go from there. All right then, this is the uh, second week of playing someone from Kingsham Table Tennis Club. It's uh, John tonight, so uh, Jonathan, so let's see how we get on. Oh. 
There we go. That is the end of another Kingsham Table Tennis Club session. Um, unfortunately, um, my game is against Jonathan. Only two of them actually recorded. Uh, my phone decided to uh, say that it's had enough uh, stuff on it. So, yeah, it wasn't enough memory to record all four games. Um, Jonathan came back in the third game and beat me. Uh, and then I beat him in the last game for a 3-1 win, finally. Um, a win on camera. Um, you know, very unusual for me. Um, yeah, Jonathan played well. Um, he's a player that's been coming to the Kencham Table Tennis Club um, well, since we, pretty much since we started again in May, I think it was. Um, certainly very early on, if not um, June, July. Um, but yeah, another player who's, who's kept coming. Um, gradually got better and better over the, over the sessions. Uh, and now a really decent um, social player for our uh, younger players to, to pit their wits against. Um, and again, for some of our more uh, experienced players to, to have a good go with. Um, always willing to learn, always willing to listen, lend a hand, you know, put put away things, put out things when needed. Um, so, yeah, really valuable member of the team. So, well played, Jonathan. And, um, yeah, hope to play you again uh, very, very soon. But, yeah, this week for us, our uh, A-team, um, going back to sort of league table finesse, our A-team didn't have a game. So, Chris Wood, um, our star player, if he doesn't mind me calling him that, our player of the match for most matches. Um, he came along to Kingsham Table Tennis Club tonight, uh, spent time playing against some of our social players, um, some of the players I've been looking at to bring in to Kingsham, um, well not Kingsham, Key Centre Table Tennis Club um, for next year with plans, like I've said in the previous uh, videos, plans for sort of bringing on like a D team and you know moving around players to strengthen all our um, other teams, our remaining teams. But yeah, our A team didn't have a game this week like I said, um, so some of the teams around us have gained points and you know, we've now got a game in hand on some of them because the way that Bath works, I think there's an odd number in our league. So um, every now and again, you've got to sit a week out. So we've got to play catch up a little bit in um, the next couple of weeks and the teams around us. It uh, looks like, in all honesty, we're going to finish um, third if we can hang on and get a good uh, couple of wins. I think there's only about three, three, maybe four games left. Still in the restricted cup, which is good. Although we have been drawn against Chippenham B, our sort of uh, nemesis at the minute. We've drawn against them and lost them in the league. They're top at the minute. So we've got them in the restricted cup semi-finals. Um, and our B team that also got through have got bare flat away. So at least our game is at home. So these games we played in around about mid-April. So we'll see whether we can get one or both teams into the final there. That should be good. Um, I watched a little bit of our C team on the Monday night after our session. Um, young Nathan Cundy was playing very, very well. Um, he's a lad who's 16 years of age. Um, won the under-15s tournament um, a couple of seasons back before COVID hit um, and come on leaps and bounds. So he had a really um, good couple of games that I watched first of all there. I think the C team uh, ran out comfortable winners in that game as well. So congrats to Matt and uh, Nathan there, that team that night. Yeah, also a special shout out to Matt Long who played in that game. Uh, he managed to pick up a win against Sue. Um, he had a certain tactic, I won't give it away Sue, but to play against her. And yeah, it seemed to have worked. So that was um, pretty handy. Came back from two sets down. Um, and yes, yeah, so that was great to, to see for a, from a Kenchum point of view, I guess. Not so great for Key Centre, but yeah, good from a, a Kenchum Table Tennis Club uh, view. Um, but yeah, that's it really. Uh, the Monday night session went really well. Fewer people than usual, so about sort of 14, 15 in the room. But nevertheless, some decent games, some very enthusiastic uh, doubles play. Um, those players know who they are, um, who create a really great um, sort of buzz and atmosphere around the club. So that's really good to see. It is still kind of an older crowd that go on a Monday night, so it'd be good to see some younger people there because tonight in the room we had um, about 21, 22 people in the room tonight. So yeah, it'd be good to see some younger people attending Monday night. I know it's a bit of an awkward um, time really being at 5.15, so it's not great for 
school kids and, and you know young adults um, especially to, to get there that quickly unless they're in the immediate area. Uh, but nevertheless, looking forward to next week. Um, you know, relaxing weekend ahead. Um, get back on to the two sessions next week. And um, yeah, I'm not sure who I'm going to play next. Uh, from Cane from Table Tennis Club, maybe I should play someone from Bath, possibly. But um, yeah, I let the players step forward. Otherwise, I start to put the feelers out over the weekend. And um, yeah, see what we can get going on um, for next week. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you got this far in our video, please like, subscribe, share. Um, you know, do it with all your, you know, share it with all your friends. Um, Cos's video got really good feedback and response. He put a couple of little clips on Instagram, which was really handy. A um, couple of uh, a choice comments on there as well. Um, so yeah, that, that was quite quite amusing to read. Um, but yeah, uh, really great feedback. And um, yeah, we've been chatting quite a bit tonight and um, yeah, over the weekend. So yeah, he really enjoyed seeing the footage, which is great. Just hoping to get more um, bits and pieces out there for you guys um, every week now. But anyway, uh, i got to get back. I've got something to eat. So I'll see you guys soon. All the best. Thank you. Bye-bye.